everybody, welcome back to my show. It's Anna Lee. So today we have a baked baking show where we are going to be baking Halloween edition edibles. So we're gonna be baking spooky graveyard brownies, <laughs> pumpkin sugar cookies, and jack-o'-lantern rice krispie treats. And they're all gonna be infused with THC olive oil that we picked up at the farm in Boulder, Colorado, which is a dispensary. Yeah, I'm really excited to make all these Halloween treats. Okay, so I already have a bowl that's been packed in this little piece for me, which is great. So we're just going to get a little high before we start cooking. It's like the best way to bake. I haven't smoked out of a piece in a minute. It's uh, taking me back. <laughs> Alright, so let's get started. We are going to start with the Spooky Graveyard Brownies, which I am so excited for. Brownies are my favorite. Okay, so we just put in all of our liquids into our mix. And once again, that was just a quarter cup of water and a third a cup of vegetable oil. So we did half regular vegetable oil and half of our THC olive oil. So that was a sixth of each and then one egg. And I'm just going to start to mix this around. So brownie mix is definitely my favorite. It's like so, it's just like chocolate dip. Like you just stick your fingers in and it's just so good to just eat. I'm going to lick this bowl clean after this. <laughs> it's so good. I'm so excited. All right, so we have our mixed brownie batter. And now we're going to just go ahead and stick it into our greased pan. Um, yeah, we just got a regular brownie pan, put some Pam in it, and yeah, I'm just going to stick in our brownie batter. And our oven is preheated to 325 degrees. What they did tell me at the dispensary was if you're going to bake this olive oil, to not bake it over 400 degrees because you can bake the THC out. So that is a good note. I guess this olive oil can be used as just like salad dressing. That's like the example that the guide gave me. Um... Yeah, so you can just honestly eat it like as is and it'll get you high. So there's our brownie butter. Just gonna spread it around. The brownies are gonna be in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes, is what it says on the box. So we're gonna be checking in on them probably every 20 minutes or so. And yeah, we already added the little gravestones. Basically, what we did was just cut half of the Milano. So cut the Milano in half. And then, I, once again, with our black icing, just went and go ahead and wrote cute things. So I wrote R.I.P. to my little sad face. So, do whatever you want, whatever's on my gravestone. And we're going to go ahead and add some grass and other little decorations. So, I'm just going to go ahead and assume that we're cutting maybe, like, at least three rows. So, I'm going to make some little patches of grass. Maybe in front of each. <laughs> I'm gonna go and add some of these pumpkin sprinkles. Why not? That'll be pretty yummy. Do some candy corn, I think. Just stick some pumpkins in there. And just kind of doing like rows of the gravestones. Yeah, super, super cute. And we actually put the THC once again in the batter and then right when they came out, if you can kind of see this darker on top, we just drizzled a little bit of the oil on top as well. Put a little pumpkin on there. So there's that. Mm-hmm. It's so good. It's like perfectly squishy, perfectly moist. 
can't taste like the olive oil at all. It's pretty, pretty mild. Which can be dangerous, but brownies were good. Super cute. Love them. 10 out of 10. Awesome. We have our pumpkin sugar cookies. So, of course, we just got the pre made sugar cookie dough. Just need to pop them in the oven. And then we have our cookie cutters. We have a bat, a bat, and also a pumpkin. So, it'll be very cute. And then, again, just our tools to decorate. And then our THC cannabis olive oil as well so yeah super excited to make these sugar cookie decorating is always so fun so yeah that's gonna be a good one okay so we just rolled out our cookie dough um we had to add actually a bunch of flour to make it thick enough to be able to cut around them so yeah unwrap your cookie dough and add a bunch of flour until it's like thick enough so it's not super sticky and you can kind of like hold it in your hand and we also poured out a little bit of the oil just on top when we were rolling it and kind of just kneaded it in as we were getting the dough ready so that's how we infused our olive oil into the cookies so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this in here you have to keep the cookie dough a little bit thicker um, just because it is kind of hard to pick up once you've made your cutout so don't roll it out too thin because you also don't want your cookies to burn. Who likes burnt cookies? All right, so there's this, and I'm just gonna pop it on the on the tray behind me. And now time for our bat. Also, these brownies that are cooking in the oven right now smell incredible. They smell so good. I am so excited. All right, and there we got our bat. So yeah, once again, these are pretty thick. You want our cookies to be nice and soft and gooey on the inside. So now we have our finished cookie sheet. Um, and we have a couple bats and a couple pumpkins. And these need to go in the oven at 325 degrees for 11 to 12 minutes. And so we're gonna pop these in and we're gonna probably check on them in about nine to 10 minutes just to make sure they don't get burnt. So. Okay, so we are gonna take a quick smoking break. Um, I unfortunately don't remember what this type of weed is. It's just kind of in a jar with some other strains of weed that I have. <laughs> but there's this nice looking nug. Is that like focus with it? Alright, yeah. he's kind of a big boy, super crispy. I'm gonna, yeah, just pack a bowl with him. Just kind of pinch it off the end. It smells so good in this kitchen. I need to get a little high so I can continue baking and soon enjoy my baked goods. <laughs> I'm really, really excited. And then we're going to get high eating too because edibles. He also said that the oil takes about th like two to anywhere from two to three hours to kick in. So if you don't feel it right away, don't keep eating. <laughs> Just wait, be patient. You don't want to end up getting too high because getting like too high in edibles is the worst. It's like either you get really, really high or like not high at all. There's not really a medium, at least not for me. So we'll see about these homemade ones. I've got a good feeling about them. Okay. So we got a nice looking bowl right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and get plates. <laughs> after I used the smoking out of a nice bomb for so long it's like so harsh wow Whew. <coughs> okay so <coughs> now that we're 
<laughs> nice and baked again. We are going to go ahead and start getting ready for the Rice Krispie Treats. Um, yeah, super easy, just a couple steps, but we're going to go ahead and get started. Alright, so next we have up our Jack-O-Lantern Rice Krispies. So what you're going to need, Rice Krispies, just the cereal, a ton of butter, the Jet Puffed Marshmallows. We got candy corn, you don't have to, but we thought candy corn might be kind of fun. Your decorating materials once again, so we added some Halloween sprinkle candies as well as our icing. And then, of course, once again, our pure olive oil, cannabis, THC olive oil. So, yeah, really excited to make this. Very, very cute. Uh, yeah, going to be awesome. Very tasty. So now we have our Rice Krispies setup station. Um, basically, what you're going to do is melt two tablespoons of butter first, just on the stove top. So we got our pot nice and hot and ready. I'm going to stick that in there. Um, and then you also need a tablespoon, two tablespoons of olive oil. So we're going to do one tablespoon of regular olive oil. And a tablespoon of our THC olive oil. my marshmallows in there while it's nice and hot. We got candy corn marshmallows once again. So just stick a bunch in there and then just kind of stir it around, make sure they're melting. It's really hot in there so be careful. Okay, get them out. Okay. I'm really interested to see what this candy corn and the marshmallows are going to be like. I feel like they're going to be really good. We ended up using all of the marshmallows in the package. So now we're gonna, we, this is five cups of Rice Krispies and we're just gonna slowly, slowly adding it in. And keep mixing while you do it, make sure that the marshmallows don't burn. And yeah, just kind of mix it in there. Oh, the crunch is already so satisfying. Those marshmallows look so good. It's like a nice, perfect orange Halloween color. These are gonna be so cute. So we just got it all mixed in. It looks so good. So now we're gonna start forming them into just little Rice Krispie balls. You can do whatever kind of shape you want, but I think balls are the easiest and they're fun to eat also. Okay, so these are really hot, so you just wanna be sure to cool it down at least a little bit before you put it into your hand. And that way it'll be a little less sticky and perfect for you to mold. It's still really hot. Ow. So just be sure to quickly put it into a bowl and then just kind of stick it on your aluminum foil. Here we have our Jack-O-Lantern Rice Krispies. So I like to draw the little face on with black icing and then I just stuck a little bit of cookie at the top and covered that with green icing for the stem of the pumpkin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how I did this. I'm just going to go ahead and draw little triangle eyes. It is a little hard to get it out and in like perfect lines, so don't worry about making it perfect, whatever, you're going to eat it anyways. Um, little triangle nose. And then I think I'm just going to give him like a cute little smiley face. It's not really a spooky jack o lantern smile, but you get the idea. And I'm gonna just give him a little spot on the top. Stick that in there. And kind of smush it down a little bit. And then just cover that top part with green icing as well. So here is our finished product of spooky jack o lantern rice crispy treats. They turned out so cute. I really liked the um, the candy corn marshmallows. It added the orange color, which I love. They wouldn't have turned out orange otherwise. So I don't really know what we would have done. But they were perfect, so I am going to go ahead and taste this. So these do have the THC oil in them that we put in in the marshmallow with the when we first boiled the butter. We put in the THC oil with the regular olive oil. 
and then we also put it when we were kind of crunching them together we just drizzled a little bit on top also so here you go they're like almost too cute to eat <laughs> but it's so good it's like perfectly chewy just that bite is like not too hard sometimes they get too hard this was perfect this is the perfect ratio of marshmallow to rice krispies so i recommend using the whole box of rice krispies and oh, the whole bag of marshmallows and it's like the perfect ratio so these were great 10 out of 10 these are awesome all right so finally we have our cookies and we the bats and the pumpkins expanded in the oven so you have to keep that in mind they're not going to stay the exact shape they were so they are right down here and they got a little bit bigger than we thought they were going to but they still look cute so i'm just gonna go ahead and cover this cookie with some orange frosting start pumpkin base <laughs> We did throw these frostings in the refrigerator also for a little bit just to make them a little bit thicker. And I'm just going to draw a quick little face on here too. Just a little jack-o'-lantern face. So here we have our finished product. <laughs> and these cookies, we the dough we bought pre-made. So when we were kneading the dough, we just kind of sprinkled on a little bit of that oil as well and just kind of kneaded it in when we were prepping our dough to be cut. So yeah, that's these THC cookies and I'm gonna take a bite of this guy. Mm. <laughs> mm. We took them right out, they, we took them out right at 10 minutes and that was perfect. Could have used even like 30 seconds less so maybe like nine minutes check on them and even if they don't look ready, they probably are ready. Like it cool down and they get harder after you take them out of the oven so just remember that as well. But these are really good. I'm normally really bad at making cookies, but these turned out awesome, so I'm really excited about these. We are going to smoke one more bowl together, and then I'm going to munch on more of these goodies and get probably get really high. Hopefully get really high. So, so one more bowl. This is, again, just the nut from before. Just grinding him up. Super well cured. Super easy to crumble. Just in your fingers. It's like the best type of weed. I love some sticky weed now and then, but it is a pain in the butt to hand grind if you don't have a grinder. So. Alright, so there's our bowl. Okay, well, <coughs> I am once again baked, and no longer baking, but that was a lot of fun. I really hope that you guys enjoyed and you're inspired to make some holiday treats. I know I'm inspired to have a holiday or a Halloween party. That sounds so fun. Get all my friends super stoned. <laughs> that was Baked and Baking, and I hope that you guys Subscribe if you want to see more of me and more of this channel. If you have made edibles before, you should comment below and let me know how you made it and kind of what worked best for you. I will keep you guys updated on how I feel in a couple hours after eating all of this, um, all of these edibles. Once again, that was THC olive oil from Colorado Cannabis and I bought it at the farm. 
in Boulder, Colorado. And it was great. The place is so cute. Everyone there is so nice. I would highly recommend if you have the chance to go. You definitely should. Happy Halloween. Um, yeah, I hope this helped get you into the into the spirit of Halloween. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye!